Hey guys, back out from a pad here. Today we're continuing our medicinal plant tour throughout the garden. And today guys, we are gonna be talking about three of our favorite fruit trees. But we're not gonna talk about the fruits today. We're gonna to talk about the medicinal benefits of the leaves. We're gonna talk about the mango tree, the soursop tree, and the guava tree. All right guys, so let's get started. But first, here's my disclaimer. Remember, I am not a doctor. There's nothing in this video should be taken as medical advice and nothing in this video should replace you speaking to your doctor and seeing your doctor. This is just information that is on the internet and some information based on things I have tried. You guys have the option of doing the same, sharing information. Below, um, for each of these video videos in the series, I'm gonna have the links below that shows where I got my information from. And within those links, there are gonna be additional links showing the research that each of the, um, each article got their information from. All right, let's start off with the mango leaves. So mango leaves contain several beneficial plant compounds, including polyphenols and terpenoids. And guys, this information is actually backed by science. Um, the article that I got this information from is healthline.com. Eight emerging benefits of mango leaves. So terpenoids are important for vision and immune health. They're also antioxidants, which protect your cells from harmful molecules called free radicals. Meanwhile, the polyphenols have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Research suggests that they actually improve gut bacteria and help treat conditions or prevent conditions such as obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. Also, there's mag mangiferin, which is a polyphenol found in many plants, but especially a high amount in mangoes and mango leaves. And that's been credited to numerous benefits. Studies have shown that it is an antimicrobial agent and there's potential treatment for tumors, diabetes, heart disease, and fat, digest fat digestion abnormalities. All right, so again, guys, I'm not a doctor. This is just sharing information. Let's move on to the soursop leaves. I've added the article to healthline.com below. Um, and there are many other articles. I suggest, you know, do your research um, with all of these herbs and these leaves, these teas. They are very powerful because of the um, compounds that they have. But so you have to be careful, especially if you're already taking uh, medication. So now soursop leaves, this is something I personally have heard about for many, many years. I've actually drank soursop leaf tea. Um, soursop leaf tea is known to fight cancer. I mean, there's extensive research done worldwide on the source of the benefits of soursop and the soursop leaf. Um, I've added a couple articles, one from Cleveland Clinic, soursop health benefits from Cleveland Clinic, as well as a health guide um, with the 31 benefits of soursop leaves that you, you did not know. So I'm just going to read a few of them. Um, again, there's extensive cancer research out there on soursop leaf. I'm not gonna go a whole lot into the cancer treatment. Um, we also know soursop leaves promote sleep. So if you're somebody who has trouble sleeping at night, a lot of these um, different herbs, they do um, promote sleep. They help you to relax. Soursop leaf is one of them. Um, I'm just gonna quickly list through some of the the, the conditions that um, these articles say that soursop leaf add a treat or they're doing research on, on it treating. Um, it helps to prevent, it prevents diabetes. Soursop leaves have been used in the treatment of back pain. It prevents uric acid, helps keep away boils. It's used in eczema treatments, treatment for rheumat rheumatism, treatment for hemorrhoids. It protects from cholesterol treats liver ailments and lowers glucose levels. It's, it has anti-aging compounds, it alleviates pain, again, it promotes sleep, um, promotes, protects your hair from lice. Wow, didn't know that. And it, of course, it treats cancer. So there's also studies that show, that have been shown that the fruit and the tea made from the leaves may 
cause symptoms similar to Parkinson's disease. And again, guys, that's why it's very important to know the side effects also. So the, the tea leaves and the fruit can cause symptoms that, um, similar to Parkinson. Um, the studies also indicate that it may interact with high blood pressure medicines or medications for diabetes. So if you're already on medications for high blood pressure or diabetes, definitely before taking any of this, any of these teas, be sure that you know the interaction. Speak to your doctors. Speak to your doctors. I can't say that enough. The compounds in a fruit may strengthen the effects of some medications, causing dangerous drops in your blood pressure or blood sugar levels. So again, speak to your doctors before trying any of this. Uh, what do we have next? So next, let's talk about the guava leaf. And I know we spoke about that um, on a recent, we kind of touched on it slightly on a recent video. So the guava leaf contains vitamins A, C, and potassium. Guava leaves may help to lower blood sugar levels. Again, guys, we just read that, um, that soursop leaves lower blood sugar levels and it may even lower it to a dangerous or low level so that's why you have to be very careful when using all these herbs these herbs are great but if you if you're drinking three or four different kinds of teas that do the same thing you can end up you know causing issues with, with your with your body uh, anyway it may help to lower blood sugar levels may boost heart health may help relieve pain symptoms of menstruation may benefit your digestive system, alle alleviate anxiety and promote mental well-being. We can all use that. May promote weight loss. I could use that. <laughs> may have an anti-cancer effect, may help boost your immunity. And then um, they threw in a um, an extra one here about guavas, not the leaf, but they said eating guavas is actually good for your skin and your hair. It treats acne, reduces fine lines, and promotes hair growth. Wow, that is awesome since I do eat a lot of guavas. And um, the leaf also helps with osteoarthritis. So that is great. A lot of us, as we get older, we develop arthritis. So this, this is really great that it um, the tea actually helps with osteoarthritis. Guava leaf is good for stomach and in intestinal issues, um, conditions. It, it's good for pain, diabetes, and wound healing. Um, the fruit, again, the fruit, back to the fruit, is used for high blood pressure also. Um, it does help to lower cholesterol and triglycerides, as well as lowering blood pressure. And I think we said that uh, already above, but it does lower all that. Helps, rela helps relaxation, which induces sleep, which is great. And gu drinking guava tea helps people to fat off the flu. So some side effects of the guava leaf tea is that it can cause constipation and be careful if taking diabetes or blood pressure meds as this could cause it your um, pressure and your sugar to go too low. All right, guys, um, the, the, the articles that I read about guava leaf, those were taken from webmd.com. Um, the guava, the over, overview, uses, side effects, precautions, interactions, dosing, and, re and reviews by WebMD. Um, also, there's an article from redclifflabs.com, um, one from uh, Organic Facts, and the last one was from Medical News Today. Um, all the information I read below, I, I read to you are from, are found in the articles below. Please click the links below, read them for yourself and, you know, read up all the side effects. God gave us these fruits, these plants, these herbs for our healing, you know, but we have to be responsible when using it. When using any of these things, especially when it's something new, um, my recommendation guys, and I am not a doctor. But, you know, try only one thing at a time, but always check with your doctor first. Okay, don't say backyard farmer Pat told you. Nope, I didn't tell you anything. I just shared information that's online. You need to speak to your doctor and you, you and your doctor knows what medications you want. Anyway, that's it for today, today's video. Till next time, bye now.